Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program. Well, the symptoms of attention deficit hyperactive disorder, or ADHD, are not always as cut and dried as you'd think. Now, though, a new computer-based test will give teachers and parents much more information, and that could mean more success in school. Health reporter and registered nurse Ali Gorman has details. Eight-year-old Owen is a bright, energetic boy, and although he seemed to be doing well in school, his mother thought he was also showing signs of ADHD. When I came and visited the classroom, I felt like that wasn't the best of what he had to offer. Dr. Teresa Cerulli used a clinical interview, comprehensive questioning, to rule out other causes for Owen's problems. For years, that's been the gold standard for diagnosing ADHD, but parents often want more information. To them, the clinical interview seems like, well, how, you know, we're just talking. How do you make a diagnosis from talking? So now a new computerized test called Quotient can objectively measure the core symptoms of ADHD. It's an additional tool that allows me to look at where this person falls on a spectrum of inattention, impulsivity. When we see the five-pointed star, we're going to hit the space bar. To do the test, Owen had to pay attention and control his impulses, while an infrared camera recorded subtle body movements. Dr. Cerulli got the results from the Quotient website and printed out a report for Owen's mom. He was then diagnosed with ADHD. It was a huge relief, actually, because because you can see it on the paper and you can say, okay, yes, I do see that. And with treatment, Owen rose to the top of his class. I finally feel like he is where he should be. Versions of the quotient test, a 15-minute test for children and a 20-minute test for adults. It's been available for about a year and is gradually making its way into doctor's offices. Allie Gorman, Channel 6, Action News.